Hey guys, today we're gonna draw a 3D glowing rainbow. And this drawing would be impossible without Quickshape Future in Procreate. That's really one of my favorite features and sets way helpful. So as you can see, I'm using monoline brush. By the way, I modified it a little bit so I can use big sizes and I showed how to personalize this brush on this video. Now you can see on the top right corner of your screen. So going back to the drawing, we have already made the last one arc of the rainbow since it turned it out to be the best way to fit all the arcs. By the way, don't worry about the colors, you can find the colors I used and color codes right in the end of the video and you can find as well my layer panel setup. So now we are gonna shade it, we're gonna start with the shadow and then with the highlights. Don't be afraid to use very contrast shadows. You can use any brush from Procreate you like to shade. In my case I'm using my custom brush I created for shading in Procreate. You can find more info about these brushes in the description down below. If you want more tutorials about Procreate default brushes, just feel free to check out them on my channel, thanks you can find pretty much. When drawing shadows and highlights in the rainbow arcs, use quick shape feature as well. Just hold the pencil on the screen and you will be able to edit the arc so your shadows and highlights will look way much uniform. Don't forget that the best way to shadow is to exercise low and uniform pressure. Now we're gonna draw the rest of the arcs using the same techniques and if you have any questions or any doubts just feel free to DM me on Instagram or ask me in the comments. If you are enjoying this video and you find it useful, give it a like and comment so more people will discover this video and will learn about drawing on iPad and Procreate. Thank you!
we're gonna add some white highlights on all the rainbow arcs. White light refraction on the bottom. And some white light reflections on the sides. Use the mount to check if your reflections look natural. Now we're gonna draw some direct light reflections on the other side. Now we're gonna grow all the rainbow layers. And we're gonna create a new layer and move it to the back. Center your composition if needed, like in my case. And we're gonna start to draw light reflection. Start by drawing some random rainbow colors. Then paint using white color in the center. Paint with some more colors if needed. Decrease the layer's opacity, create a new layer and paint with pure white color. Then merge down the layers and transform it using freedom mode. Create a new layer, since we're gonna create glowing effect for the rainbow. Start by painting with rainbow colors, red, green, blue, etc. And now paint using white color. You can use Gaussian blur if needed, but in my case the most important step here is to decrease the opacity and to use a razor tool and to erase extra light we don't need on our drawing. That's the result I got. Feel free to share with me your results, since I would love to see what you have created. And here I let you my layer panel. <laughs>